Good morning. We're on the record. This is Division 4 of the Boulder District Court. I'm Judge Thomas Mulvihill. Before we call the Alyssa matter, for those who are observing on WebEx, I need to ask you to please turn off your camera and mute your microphone. I need to inform you that no person shall broadcast, record, or take screen grabs of today's proceedings uh, via WebEx unless they have been expressly granted permission to do so under an order authorizing expanded media coverage. Any person who violates this order will be in direct contempt of the court order and may be prosecuted for criminal violations. We'll call case 21 CR 487, People of the State of Colorado versus Ahmad Al Aliwi Alissa. Can I have the appearance of counsel for the people, please? Good morning, Your Honor. Michael Doherty and Ken Kuffner on behalf of the people of the State of Colorado. Good morning. And for the defendant. Good morning, Your Honor. Catherine Gerald, Daniel King, and Sam John on behalf of Mr. Elisa, who is present. Good morning, counsel. Good morning, Mr. Elisa. Sir, you're here for an advisement hearing. I need to advise you of your rights pursuant to Rule 5. Mm -hmm. You need to understand that you need to make no statements, and any statement that you do make uh, can and may be used against you. You have the right to counsel. In this case, the Office of the Public Defender has been appointed to represent you. Any plea that you make, must be voluntary and cannot be the result of undue influence or coercion. You have the right to bail if the offense is bailable. Right now, you're being held without bail. Mr. Doherty, do the people anticipate seeking a determination that the proof is evident and the presumption is great? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Elisa, what that means is you'll be held without bail until such time as the court is able to, de to determine whether or not the proof is evident and the presumption is great that you committed these crimes. You have the right to be informed of the nature of the charges. You have the right to a jury trial, and you have the right to demand, to demand and to receive a preliminary hearing within a reasonable time to determine whether probable cause exists. And if you're currently serving in the United States Armed Forces or if you're a veteran of such forces, you may be entitled to receive mental health treatment, substance use disorder treatment, or other services as a veteran. Sir, do you understand those rights as I've explained them to you this morning? I need you to answer out loud, please. Yes. Okay, and for the record, you answered affirmatively. Uh, the people have filed a uh, complaint and information uh, charging 11 counts. Ms. Harold, on behalf of the defendant, will you acknowledge receipt of the complaint and information, waive formal reading and further advisement? Yes, Your Honor. All right. We need to set this matter for a hearing on uh, proof evidence presumption grade along with the preliminary hearing. Uh, what's the defense's uh, thoughts with respect to how soon we can set that hearing? Your Honor, we would be requesting at this time that we actually set a status prior to setting the proof evidence presumption great hearing. Our position is that we cannot do anything until we are able to fully assess Mr. Elisa's mental illness. We cannot begin to assess the nature and depth of Mr. Elisa's mental illness until we have the discovery from the government. It's my understanding that the government is continuing to investigate this case the discovery is going to be voluminous, and so at this juncture, it doesn't make sense to set the proof evident presumption great hearing. So we'd be requesting a status conference. And so, is your client willing to waive his right to a preliminary hearing within 35 days to accommodate that or a later setting for preliminary hearing and proof evident presumption great? He is, Your Honor. What's the people's position on the request for a status in advance of a preliminary hearing? Thank you, Your Honor. The people have no objection. I leave it to the court's discretion. I will say the crime scene has not yet been uh, completed in terms of the processing. We will be filing additional charges in the next couple weeks. If people have not received any discovery yet from law enforcement, the defense hasn't received any discovery, so the people have no objection to the defendant's request. All right. How far out were you contemplating that status hearing? Your Honor, it's hard to gauge, but I would ask three months. Okay. Um, and. You've discussed this with your client, and he understands that he'll continue to be held without bond uh, during that interceding three months or so. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so I'll, I'm sorry, Mr. Doherty. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I do think three months further out than I anticipated. I would ask for at most a month and a half. I think that'll give us time to have the crime scene processing completed, which I anticipate is the next couple days. Additional charges will be filed in the next two weeks, and then uh, counsel will have the discovery available to them. Well, so here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I'll grant the defendant's request to set this matter for a status hearing uh, in advance of any setting for a preliminary hearing or a proof of a presumption great hearing. I'm going to direct counsel to contact the CJA for Division 13 to set that status conference. 
I'll authorize that status conference to be set in about 60 to 90 days. I understand the concerns that you have, Mr. Doherty, but at the same time, uh, I want to make sure that the defense has uh, ample opportunity to prepare to move forward uh, once we do set that hearing. Uh, so contact the CJA for Division 13. This case has been assigned to Division 13. Chief Judge Ingrid Bakke will be the presiding judge in this matter. Anything else at this time on behalf of the people, Mr. Doherty? No, Your Honor, thank you. Anything else on behalf of the defendant, Ms. Harold? Your Honor, the government filed a request to reconsider this court's previous order with regard to D6. Right. If the court is going to entertain reconsidering that prior to doing it, we'd ask an opportunity to reply. I was going to direct you to uh, uh, to reply. How much time do you need? Is 14 days enough? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay. So I'll give the defense 14 days to respond to that motion. I'll issue a written order in that regard. All right. Thank you. We'll be in recess. Thank you, Your Honor. Thanks for using WebEx. Visit our website at <coughs> Sorry. Please send